cycle is whatever you want to make it. You turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. What's going on guys? I just wanted to do a review of my 2004 Yamaha R1. This bike weighs 379 pounds. It was the first 1000cc superbike to reach the 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. Fuel capacity is 4.8 gallons and I've been getting about 45 to 50 miles per gallon. Ergonomically it feels really great. It has a stiffer feel to it. The power is very linear. It feels really smooth. It redlines at 14,000 RPM. It's been a great bike overall. As far as durability, you'll see a lot of these bikes that have 80, 90,000 miles on them. This one currently has 9,000 miles on it. I purchased it with very low miles. I can't remember exactly. I think it was around 4,000. This particular one is pretty much stock. As far as performance, it's stock, but it does have rear sets and flush mount signals on it. I put the flush mount signals on and the fender eliminator. Other than that, it doesn't even have an exhaust. It's just, everything is stock. Brakes front and rear are hydraulic. The clutch is a cable clutch. Throttle is fly-by-wire. This is fuel injected. It's got a steering stabilizer on it. I've never felt out of control on this bike. I've never got the death wobble. 2004 was a really big year for Yamaha as they uh, created this bike and completely redid their R1 line. This is the first model that has this particular subframe, this particular engine, and the uh, undertail exhaust. Comfort wise, I would say comfort's one of the weak points of this bike. The seat is pretty much unbearable stock, so I replaced that with a Corbin seat, which came at a cost at $360. This bike has dual front disc brakes, which are very strong. The rear has one disc, which is also very strong. Obviously it's chain drive, chain driven. It's a six-speed manual. First gear does about, well, it does exactly 100 miles per hour. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this. I want to give you an idea of what the power is like on this bike. You don't really have to give it any gas at all or any throttle at all in order to start out. What I usually do is just bring it just above idle and just let it roll forward. That way I maximize my traction and just let it go. That's how I start but this thing just takes off. I mean, once you're, once you're above uh, 6,000 RPM, you better be holding on. Here we go. This is first gear. It's like holding on to a rocket. Every gear after that does roughly 20 miles per hour. So this bike will top out about 186 miles per hour. Not that I've reached that on this particular bike. In my opinion, this is the best looking R1 ever created. 2004 to 2008, they pretty much look the same as this one. And honestly, my favorite bike was the Raven model. It's all black with the red pinstriping, but I actually found this one on the market and it was a great price and unbelievably clean, so I picked it up. When you rev it up, it really takes off. It screams. Really screams. The headlight works great. Low beam has both headlights, which I do enjoy. That way it doesn't look like it has one burnt out. So when the uh, low beam is on, actually both of them will be on. And uh, high beam is the same way. It has a very finished look to your dashboard here compared to some of the earlier models. 
It does not have a digital tachometer readout, as you can see, but it does have a digital uh, speed, which is nice because uh, speed is something you know, need to know exactly. And if you guys have any questions about this bike, feel free to let me know. I don't know everything about it, but I can certainly try to help. Oil changes are fairly simple. It does have a sight glass on the um, engine cases so you can see right in there and check your oil level easily. An oil change is fairly simple, although the uh, oil filter is behind the header pipe so that makes it kind of difficult to get to. Some riders may want to get a double bubble windscreen. That way you can get a little bit more protection, but I don't have a issue with it. This bike does have storage under the seat, which takes a separate key, which is just kept on my key ring right here. You can keep your registration and everything under there. There's not a whole lot of room though. It's a very stable feeling bike and just, just good overall. I've been pretty happy with it. It's a good bike. Anyways guys, that's about it. I'll catch you on the next video. See ya. His name is Racer Red. If he wasn't riding, he'd be in bed. He naps during the day. He rides his love in garage bays. Oh, he rides all night, full throttle all the time. Oh, he was born to ride. Red Racer, like, comment, and subscribe.